What is up guys? Pro Play Apathy back in the building with another video. And today I got a great tip video for you guys. The new rule set was announced recently and I have a new updated class set of video for CWL, MLG, GBs, whatever you want to say. And it's good because like I said, rule set was just announced. The meta, the way people are playing, uh, the great, the classes you should be running. And I have all that for you here. I've been scrimming a lot, I've been practicing a lot and obviously I got the best classes. So throughout this video, you're going to see three guns. And because that is the three best guns in the game right now. But let's start off with the SOG 9mm, the best SMG in my opinion. And probably is the best SMG at the moment. And we got quick draw grip and stock. Now these are the three primary attachments you need for the gun to be viable and effective. I got stem shot. Of course, all my classes are going to be rocking stem shot. Body armor, just not good enough. We got a concussion. Stuns are really good in this game. Um, it's just very, very, very good to break or to just get free kills because you're pretty much immobilized. Like, you can't do anything. If they have tack mask, it lowers it down to like two seconds or two seconds and a half. But still, like, for they, there's almost no counter. Tack mask is not completely counter, so stuns are really effective. I got tack mask, dexterity, dead silence. Tack mask, obviously, really good for this class because if I'm getting rushed and stuff, I got that tack mask to block things. I got dexterity. A lot of people don't know. These are the key things. Dexterity helps you slide faster. And when you increase weapon accuracy, when jumping, when jumping, mantling doesn't really matter. And you obviously, so those are the two main things. But mantling and climbing or it's mantling things and jumping over things, it's faster as well. So that's just a plus. But dexterity is a very, very good perk. Gung ho is banned in the CWL, even though gung ho is a really good perk as well. So that's why I'm running dexterity on this class. Dead Silence, just to have an extra slot. Don't need to really run a pistol. Don't need to run a second stun. Uh, so I have I have Dead Silence on this class. Dead Silence is really, really silent. Um, I would, every time I use this class, I feel like I'm able to sneak through my enemies and I'm able to like sort of make these sneaky plays more often, if you understand what I'm saying. You you get to maneuver around the map without being really heard and it just it, it helps. Uh, like I said, just an empty slot that I have and it's just, it's actually pretty good. Now, before I continue, this is as more of a stack class, and this is a class people run as well. Let me remove these two. And it is stock two. Now, this is more of a kill-hungry class. I mean, you can even run this. This is what people have been running. This is more of a kill-hungry class. It's really, really good because stock two it just has like a little bit, I think, a, pretty sure a slightly faster strafe. And you can obviously drop shot with it while aiming and everything, so it's really good. And this is more of a, you know, you'll win more gunfights type of thing. A more stacked class and it's really good but it's just there's no there's no you can't run really attack i mean you could take always do this take out attack mask and run and play as run a class like this you want to run one perk but i just feel like i like my class better so now let's go to class two i got the maddox one of the best guns in the game right now i'm running elo stock and quick draw now there's been a recent nerf on the elo which people are saying use the red dot it, the elo adds a slight recoil the recoil is barely noticeable i think the elo in my opinion is still better and i like the elo and i feel like it fits to respawn better quick draw and stock just the essentials you got a concussion grenade like i said i'm pretty sure i have a concussion in most of these classes but you got a concussion i got engineer engineer the reason people are wondering why do i have engineer on engineer allows you to see trophies through the wall and trophies are really viable in this meta because of concussions and because of the war machine and the war machine guy has a club or a girl the battery has a cluster so the trophies are just so viable and if you want to use your stun if you want to use your nade you know you need to know where the trophies are located so you can blow them up or before you use them and just throw them away you need to see you need to see like oh this you have engineer on you can see through walls and see if there's a trophy place on the hill or anything so it's really really good in this meta right now also rocking dexterity lightweight now lightweight is barely effective in ars i believe it's a four percent increase from what i've read uh four percent increase in speed very 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 little the only reason i like it is because for like break let's say start offs and stuff like that it can be really good and i also love feeling a little fast and that lightweight feeling even though it doesn't help dramatic like dramatically it's still i still feel that sort of increase in speed while i'm playing and it just feels it just feels smooth like i love feeling fast so this is more of like a faster class now we have a second saw class and this is the fast saw class now i have quick draw grip stock again just to really the only essentials you need stock two is more kill hungry class you got dexterity lightweight lightweight i believe is a little bit more effective in a sub or just because the subs uh base speed is faster so when you have lightweight on you're even more fast 
And I have Tac Mask, obviously, for... This is more of a fast class, you know what I mean? I got Tac Mask in case they stun me. I'm only stunned for like two seconds and I'm able to move again. I got Lightweight and Dexterity to be extremely fast around the map. Mantle fast, move around fast. And then this is... I don't have any attacks in this. The only thing I can really recommend if you want to run a stun or attack or a nade... Uh, just remove Tac Mask and, of course, because that's this is more supposed to be more of a fast class, so you need to have that Lightweight on. And Stim Shot, just too effective. Never remove this. And that's the only thing you can do. But, I mean, if anything, if you if you want to be even, like, more immune to sort of, like, being stunned and slowed down, then you can run attack mask. Now, for my fourth class, I got another Maddox class. Now, this is the with the quick draw to attachment. So, it's basically the same three, but with quick draw two. Maximize aiming speed and increase peripheral vision while looking down sights. Multi-zoom optics do not gain... Okay, well, that doesn't matter. So, basically, all it really, well, what it does is it maximizes aiming speed. So, with quick draw one, you aim in faster, improve aiming speed. Uh, quick draw two probably hits you, hits it with the maximum aiming speed. So, you aim in faster. But from what I noticed, there's not really a big difference. Sort of like lightweight with a 4% increase. Quick draw two might be like a 5%, 8%. You know, it's it's not a big margin. It's a very small increase because you can you can barely notice it. But I'm assuming if it wouldn't be saying if there wasn't. So you get to aim in slightly faster, which is pretty good. You know, I mean, it's probably like a millisecond or half of a half a sec. I don't know what the numbers are or the statistics, but it helps. All right. It helps. Then you got the increased peripheral vision. When you're looking down the site, you it's like zoomed in kind of like farther and you can kind of see around you more. It's, it's definitely good to have, especially in long-range engagements. I think that is the most important reason. So let's say you're playing an ICR or you're playing another Maddox and you're both like in a head glitch, but he has quick draw one, you have quick draw two. It's easier to hit your shots from what I noticed just because you get that extra like distance and vision and it really helps with that. So quick draw two is actually pretty good. It's not 100% needed as you saw in my first class. I actually use this class more or not the lightweight class, but uh well now i'm starting to use quick draw two more just because it's helping me win a little bit more gunfights but uh it's not needed but it's good like it, you should be if you can run it you should be running it and then of course i got a concussion really good stem shot engineer dexterity uh i'm pretty sure in all my ar classes i have engineer the only time i don't have it is on my subclasses but even like you can put it on your sub it's not like you don't have to i think engineer is almost a must in this meta now you have to talk with your teammates you shouldn't be running more than like two max three engineers per team so don't be like having engineer in our classes now if, if your teammates not running engineer or you already have two three te two teammates running engineer then you shouldn't be running engineer and then you get to like kind of change your class up a bit make it maybe a little better so i got engineer dexterity dexterity you you notice it it's in every single thing just because in every single class, just because Gung Ho is banned, Dexterity, in my opinion, is the second, next second best perk, and then Lightweight is the third. But Lightweight, barely effective in ARs, or just barely effective at all as, at this moment. So, uh, got the Dexterity, Engineer, Stim Shot, and Concussions, and yeah, this is the fourth class. Now we go to the fifth class with this beautiful camo. People might ask, how do you get this camo? It's tier 200, it's called Blinding Glory. You have to either buy it or rank up really far, and I bought it. But... Uh, I got the reflex sight. I got the quick draw, grip one, grip two. Grip one, grip two is a must. Uh, quick draw, it's good in respawn. I, do, I don't really use it that much in, that, in search and destroy, but it is good in respawn. So you should be rocking a quick draw. And then, of course, the only really good sight here is reflex. They don't have an elo. And then I got the Mozu. Now, the Mozu is really a really strong pistol close up. It's basically a mini shotgun. I kid you not. It's a very strong pistol. You probably used it already. Got the stim shot, engineer, and dexterity. Now, the only thing I can say right here that can be slightly changed is, especially in respawn, you know, there's rarely a time you're going to pull out a pistol. Like, the pistol might save you, save your life every, like, 10 deaths, maybe 15 deaths. But it's you're, you're going to use it, like, two, three times a game. Or you might even pull out more, but, like, you're not always going to get a kill with it. So, a good thing to do if you're trying to be a more of a tactician, if you're trying to help your teammates out, you know, this... What you guys can understand, tax are really good to play for the win. You know, it's... You're, you're making a class which can help your team succeed when it comes to winning. So you can put on a frag. People don't really run frag grenades that much because they take long to, to get. And then there's always trophies and stuff. And concussions are just so good right now with the with, with barely being able to, you know, tack. Like, tack mass doesn't work. So even if you run tack mass, it's not like it's a, being really effective. And it's just you can stun multiple people. You can stun two, three people. They are in the dirt legs planted they can't do anything you just shoot them on the side in the back so it's like really good so you can also run this class right here 
And now for my last class, which is the Maddox three attachment. Like I said, you don't need quick draw two. It is good, but it's not a must. And then I got the stack perk class. So I got attack mass, dexterity, lightweight, and dead silence. Now this is a very, very stacky, perky classy. Dead silence, I told you earlier, they especially when they they buffed they buffed it recently, and you could barely hear footsteps, so it's really, really good. I got attack mass, I got dexterity and lightweight to be a little bit faster and attack mass so they can't stun me. This is more of an aggressive class. Uh, I really don't pull this class out at all just because for my team, I'm more of a tactician type of guy. And that's kind of my my role in the team. But if you, you know, this is I made this class more to show you guys that what you can do you with the class, create a class and you how you can like kind of change things a bit. Because you guys saw all my classes for the most part, they're similar. Uh, this is more, like I said, a perk, perk stack class. And it's just very like sneaky and aggressive and... You know, it's it's for uh, the Maddox, of course. So this is another really good class. You guys can try it out if you want. I'm probably never going to use this class just because, like I said, these are more of my type of classes with stuns and engineers and stuff like that. But um, this is also another really good class. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's updated video CWL rule set with the new patch and buff or whatever it is. Uh, things are changed a bit, but obviously some machine guns are just too weak at the moment. Even with the small buffs and SMGs, the SOG is the best one. And that's why I only have SOG classes. And of course, the Maddox and ICR are the best ARs at the moment. But have a good day. It's been your boy Apathy. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.